So what is the one characteristic that some leaders has or have that others don't? Achieving the impossibility. So we need a team of people and when leadership change, it has an impact on the team. You remember my, my quote I said, you know, it's, it's the mindsets of leaders that determines the mindsets of people around them. Okay. Coming back to this EQ thing. So emotional intelligence speaks about how do I impact other people? So if you think about his son, he didn't even see himself correctly about how he impacts other people. So in some way, this is the self-deception. We get blind to how we impact other people. Leadership, is, it's a tool. I mean, it's a tool to, to influence people, to make them better, to make them, yeah, to make them better. Uh, focus on them, not, not, not only on yourself. It's about something bigger than yourself. And personal responsibility, our, your and my responsibility, our company, your company, all the companies and whatever associations you've got, that's where the responsibility has to reside. Just think about how you have been like perfectly positioned, perfectly connected, if you can just be switched on for more than just your own little world. And you can connect into a company like Afri, then linking into all of those dark places in the world shedding light in Africa. If you can be switched on for more than just yourself and you get linked into like-minded people, it's then when we can bring light to a very dark place. But in order for us to really turbocharge what we have, as a country and as managers in diversified teams is actually embracing diversity. Not because you're a saint, but you know there's a benefit in the diversity. You know, so for me that's always been a, a, a burning desire for me. And how I link my why, my purpose, is to the words that Chris said. He says we exist as a business to invest in the lives of people. Companies that have high affinity and alignment have deep trust in their leaders. And one of the things we've come to learn is that when we talk about culture, and culture being truly what we believe is a competitive advantage, culture actually all is about how we connect as human beings. And that's what sets companies apart at the end of the day. So leadership is about identifying potential, attach value to it, and develop it to the maximum. And being a Chief Encouragement Officer is intentional when you walk in into any environment, you need to look for opportunities to encourage and not discourage. And what we desperately need in South Africa is credible leadership. People that can be believed, people that can be trusted, people can be admired, and people when they say something, what they say and how they act, is not at variance with one another. I think the important thing is, what I'm trying to say is, you lead automatically because you're born to lead. You don't lead automatically because you're appointed to lead. Transformation or mindset change happens from the inside out. All of us sitting here can decide that we are going to define ourselves primarily on the base of the fact that we are part of one race, one race alone, and that is the human race. You can't talk yourself out of a situation you've behaved yourself into, right? So I can't come in here one day and say we're going to change things if I didn't change myself. If one wanted to crush and destroy a man, to meet him out the most terrible of punishments. All that one would have to do is make him do work that was completely and utterly devoid of usefulness and meaning. One of the things that really hit me when I was thinking about the future of South Africa was think about, so again, think about the racial buckets, right? Black female, black man, white female, white male, right? This, forget the, the split, like in numbers. 
assume we are all equal numbers in South Africa, right? So 25% each. In South Africa, the laws that none of us are responsible for systematically allowed only a quarter of our country to thrive, right? Only a quarter. And look what we achieved as a country. Now, us unleashing the rest of the capacity, the human capacity in South Africa. So with 25% of our capacity, we achieved an economy that's largest in the continent. Now, unleash the rest of the 75%. I don't see how we can't be positive about this country. If you see yourself as useful, I think it's even better than successful. Surround yourself with great-minded people and you will become a great-minded person.